Hello everyone, my name is Raju Sharma and today I am going to talk about the J1 Bridge USA program. Well, the J1 Bridge USA program is also called Cultural Exchange Training Program and this is for international candidates looking to gain some experience in United States of America. J1 has several categories, but today we are going to talk about only interns and trainees. Uh, well, uh, you know, I'll talk about uh, only from hotels perspective, uh, considering that you are a hotelier and you want to do your training in a hotel. Well, uh, you know, I, I talk about uh, intern and trainee. Let me tell you what is the difference between intern and trainee because it is very important. Well, uh, interns are those who are currently enrolled in a hotel management school and it's not been one year they have graduated. So those kinds are called interns and trainees are those who are already graduated and it's been more than one year and they have at least one year of work experience. There is no much differences between intern and trainee but uh, as far as eligibility is concerned it's very important to know whether you fall into the category of intern or you fall into the category of trainee. Well, in the whole J1 program, there are three parties involved. That is, the first is the sponsor, second is the hotel, and third is the embassy. Sponsors plays the most vital role. They are kind of a you know guardian for you, United States. They take care of the whole program from your arrival to your departure. They are the one who issues the document called DS2019, which is the visa documents. Without this document, you won't be able to go to the embassy for the visa. The second is the hotel, the host property where you will be doing your training for six months or one year, whatever you know program length you choose. And uh, like, of course, they will be your uh, home for one year. Then comes the visa, the embassy. Of course, you need a visa to travel to United States. Uh, well, uh, let me talk about uh, the hotel's type and uh, the remuneration, location and about meals. The hotels are all four stars and five stars and it is located throughout the United States. And uh, accommodation, sometimes you know there are hotels which provide you accommodation, there are hotels which do not provide you accommodation and uh, uh, you know whether irrespective of that you have to pay the rent. If you talk about Florida, Colorado, Georgia, this side, you know, you have to pay a rent between $400 to $600. But, you know, if you talk about California, New York, uh, Vegas or Los Angeles, you, you have to pay around, uh, you know, uh, $600 to $800. Uh, dollars. So it's, it's quite expensive, but of course, earning will be more as well. Uh, the, the meals, uh, you know, on-duty meals will be provided by some hotels. Uh, for free and there are hotels you know where you have to pay a nominal charge for the meals and about your off-duty meals you have to cook that off-duty meals in your accommodation well see 40 hours of work will be given by uh, each hotel anything above 40 is called overtime and overtime pay rate is 1.5 times more than the normal pay rate uh, on an average if you are uh, going in kitchen uh, you will be paid between 12 to 18 dollars per hour if it's in F&B, it's between uh, you know, 10 to $15 per hour. And if it's in front office, uh, you know, you'll be paid between 12 to $18 as well. Well, see, uh, these rates may vary, vary, depends on your location and depends on the property. Uh, but uh, you know, on an average, this is the stipend uh, international candidates are getting. Uh, as I told you, uh, up to 40 hours, uh, you, know, you will be paid this rate. Anything above 40, it's 1.5 times. So on an average, it's a, it's a very good amount. Uh, if you talk about, uh, you know, for your living expenses and everything, it's a good amount. You don't have to ask for money from your parents. You can survive on this money. Well, uh, about the documentation. See, once, once you are done with the uh, sponsor interview, so I talk about three parties. You have to face those three interviews. That is the sponsor interview, hotel interview, and the embassy interview. Well, sometimes, you know, a hotel interview happens first, then sponsor interview. Sometimes uh, the sponsor interview happens first and then hotel interview. But anyway, you have to give interview. So sponsors uh, take interview the first round and uh, they determine, they check about your eligibility. You know, what's your motive behind coming to United States? And uh, once you are done with the sponsor interview, then the hotel interview comes. 
and once you are done with the hotel interview you know uh, the hotel and the sponsor jointly they issue uh, this training plan called ds7002 this ds7002 has all the details like your hotel details how much stipend you will be getting you know in which location this hotel uh, is and then your training you know supervisor your training phases it is much more than an offer letter it has all the details uh, that is required by the department of state and by the embassy once this ds7002 is issued then the next document is ds2019 ds2019 is issued by the sponsor and this is the main document this is the visa document when you are going for an embassy uh, interview you need to carry this document this is the most vital documents and uh, you know once your ds arrives then you need to book uh, you know the appointment you need to fill ds160 form and uh, you know the ds160 form has several pages you need to fill it online then submit in the location you want to go and give interview so once you are done with the interview the officer then and there decides whether to grant you a visa or not once uh, the visa is granted within few days you will get the visa and then you are ready to fly let me tell you one important document is left and that is savis you need to fill that savis and uh, you know you have to pay for savis as well and uh, once uh, you are done with all the documents and you, documentation you get your visa you are ready to fly you have to notify uh, your sponsor that you have got your visa and then uh, you know the hotel uh, uh, tells you when to arrive uh, it, it it is mostly the day you know your internship starts so uh, it's better that you always ask your sponsor that you know uh, you have received visa and uh, when is the right time to arrive so once they confirm you book your ticket and you fly you once you uh, you know uh, reach united states you have to uh, file for social security number that is ssn number and once uh, you know uh, you get that number then only your bank account will be open and then the stipend amount will be credited so uh, monthly check in is uh, mandatory with the sponsor so uh, as i told you that sponsor is uh, more like a guardian there you know they will be your parents so you have to notify everything that you are doing there and uh, you know they will take care of everything i hope that you know uh, i am able to explain you the whole program if uh, you think that you know you have more questions you please comment and ask uh, i'll be more than happy to guide you if you think uh, you know uh, this video is helpful please share with your friends and uh, thank you so much for watching